Hi, if you love to code in Python, you should try notebooks.ai because you can go online and use Python in a Jupyter Notebook. So you just sign in and you have all your project here that you can create all for free. And um, so you just create a new project, give it a name, Pygame. When I see if I can use Pygame. I don't know if I can. And so once you start it, you can uh, use a Jupyter Notebook online as always. As you, if you don't know what is a Jupyter Notebook, it is uh, some Python code that you can use in a, in a cell, in different cell, and you can write uh, what you want and execute and execute the code and you will have the output here or it will do whatever you need to do and uh, with Python and if you want to install something uh, for example I don't know what is the um, uh, this version of that is running here print sys dot version it's a 3 7 dot 4 so let's see if it has Pygame. No module name Pygame. If you want to install it, you just have to go here, pip, install Pygame. You can use also the console, but you can also do so. Okay, I have installed Pygame. It's very, very fast indeed. And I can also upgrade the pip version to the new upgrade let's do it always the same way but I remember there is always the, a chance to have the, a console okay now we don't need it anymore so let's import by game let me see if it works and it works 1.9.6 so um, I recently have made this little um, game here not it's just the start of a game and I follow it the instruction of the fluffy potato tutorial so let me copy this let me put this one in here and let me just want to see if it works let's run it in I don't have the the PNG player, okay, but is it just um, let me know how can I upload a file? Maybe player PNG. There it is. Let me see now if it works. No available video device, and this is something that happens also with uh, Tikinter. So, I don't know how we can do use um, open a window with the, but I will see if it is possible for um, but you can do a lot of stuff. Let me check here another notebook and the, this was a little little script to make covers and let's go here and Here it makes just a an image and save and saves it. But let me okay we got okay from peel import image and then this is the image a simple square with nothing on it and here I had some problems with uh, with the font here 
here, get something in green. And here I just uh, can get rid of the font here because for some reason I can't change the font but you see here I can use the standard font and write it here I don't know if I can put the sides but nothing changes okay uh, so we just have to understand how to use it so you can use as it is online you can use wherever wherever you want and um, so it's it's really a nice thing to uh, to use and uh, I suggest you to to use it you can also use a dark theme this is pretty nice too mm. and and a lot of stuff here that I still haven't um, haven't looked at so that's um, that is notebooks.ai and I suggest you to use it